Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss about analysis of safety factor of dam. This is going to be a second concept related to the analysis of safety factor of dam. As in the previous video, I have discussed about a dam which uh, of, for which we are asked to check the safety factor in context of sliding and overturning condition. And there was no water on the downstream side. But in this numerical, we have water which is up to 6 meter uh, depth on the downstream side. So without any further delay, let's get started. So let's proceed the solution writing solution here and we are provided that friction coefficient of friction F equals to 0 0.75 and unit weight of water is 10 kN per cubic meter as well as and unit weight of concrete is 24 kN per cubic meter. So before beginning the solution of this numerical, we are supposed to draw some diagrams here, which is for the hydraulic pressure. And what happens? The water remaining uh, lying on the upstream side of this dam uh, poses pressure, and uh, which will be ho horizontal as well as vertical pressure. And for vertical pressure, it is all due to the height of the liquid column. So we will have here gamma w times height of the liquid height uh, or the depth of water on the upstream side similarly what happens here also the water as we all know as the, it is mentioned in the question that the material below the dam is permeable so the due to what that reason what happens water seeps below the dam from upstream side to the downstream side due to difference in pressure and the seeping water also exerts uplift pressure on the dam so we will also need to draw the pressure diagram for the uplift pressure so it will be in this form see again water is in uh, entering below the dam from this portion this this point and the depth is 12 meter so here length of this portion will be gamma w times h means gamma w times 12 meter is here and similarly here also h is 12 meter and here in this question what happens we have water on the upstream side also sorry downstream side also so this portion is also this portion of water is also going to exert some pressure so here also it will form a pressure diagram and its uh, length will be gamma w times depth of water on the upstream side that is 6 meter gamma w times 6 meter and now we have to join this and it will take a trapezoidal form it is because the water pressure on the upstream side, downstream upstream side is higher and as the water seeps below the dam it keeps on decreasing when it really gets released on this portion so previous question you have seen that here the pressure was zero so it uh, formed the it took the form of a triangle triangle but here there is some water on the upstream side so what happens the pressure is not released completely so here it it is not tapered in this question next step is to split this trapezoid trapezoid into a rectangle and a triangle so how we are going to do this see here we will simply draw a line here and here this is gamma w times 6 so what happens here it is gamma w times 6 so this length from here to here it also gets gamma w times 6 and the remaining total was gamma w times 2 well so remaining this length will be gamma w times 6 remaining length next what happens i am going to name the uh, weight differently one by one so here it is w1 which is acting downward similarly for the lower portion i have split this uh, retaining wall into i have split this dam into the two portion and this upper portion is uh, posing the weight w1 similarly the lower portion is posing weight w2 and this up uh, water on the downstream side is posing uh, horizontal force and vertical force similarly water on the upstream side is also posing horizontal force and vertical force so let this be fh1 fh2 
एफ भी वन एंड एफ भी टू सिमिलरली अपलिफ्ट प्रेशर फॉर अपलिफ्ट प्रेशर लेट दिस बी एफ यू वन एंड लेट दिस बी एफ यू टू नाउ लेट्स कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ इच एंड एवरी यूनिट वन बाय वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ वेट डब्लू वन सो एज यू कैन सी डब्लू वन इज द पोर्सन ऑफ डैम एंड विच इज रेक्टेंगुलर इन शेप सो फॉर्मूला वी नो बेस इन टू हाइट टाइम्स यूनिट वेट सो दिस टोटल इज टूवेल्व दिस होल स्पैन इज टेन प्लस टू सो टूवेल्व टाइम्स टू टाइम्स यूनिट वेट ऑफ कंक्रीट इज ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम्स वी आर टेकिंग यूनिट थिकनेस ऑफ द डैम they we take unit thickness and this is to shorten the calculation and the we we, uh, we can get the value easily that's why we take the unit value so we have to multiply this 12 times 2 times 24 we will get 576 kN similarly for weight w2 w2 is going to be 12 times 2 so 12 times 2 times 24 times 1 again we get 576 kN similarly for vertical force we will have f v1 equals to this f v1 is the pressure due to or the force due to the liquid column on the upstream side so formula will be half times base means gamma w is 10 times h1 is 12 uh, times height is again 12 Okay, so we have this is for horizontal pressure F H one F H one. This pressure is due to the water, so F H one is half times base gamma W times H. So this is F H one equals to seven hundred twenty kilonewton. Similarly, for F H two, for F H two here also the li liquid is exerting pressure. So we have here. we have here again gamma w times 6 means gamma w times 6 so fh2 is again going to be half times base means 10 times 6 times height is 6 and you can multiply it with 1 for the unit thickness so we have here again half times 10 times 6 times 6 so it is going to be 180 kN and f v1 is the weight of the liquid on the upstream side so we have 10 times 4 so 10 times 4 times unit weight of water is again 10 times unit thickness so we will ha get here 400 kN similarly f v2 vertical force on this downstream side f v2 is again 6 times height this is 2 meters so remaining is 4 meters 6 times 4 times unit weight of water times unit thickness and we get 240 kN for uplift pressure so uh, uplift pressure f u1 f u1 is actually rectangular in shape so we will have here gamma w times 6 means 10 in times 6 times base times height i have done this this is going to be 720 kN and f u2 will be a triangular in shape so we have half times base means 10 times 6 times height is 12 so we will have here 360 kN now next we will check the factor of safety against sliding so we know the formula that is factor of safety against sliding equals to coefficient of friction frictional factor times summation v upon summation h summation v means sum of all the vertical forces times frictional factor divided by the sum of all the horizontal forces so we uh, now which one are the vertical forces or the resisting so you can see here w1 is acting downward w2 fv1 fv2 
are the vertical forces and your uplift or uh, this uplift pressures are also vertical in direction but what happens these are opposite so this is going to get minor uh, negative sign so we have here coefficient of friction factor factor in the question is 0 0.75 time times sum of all the forces so w1 is 576 plus 576 plus 400 plus 240 minus 720 minus 360 and divide by horizontal forces horizontal forces 720 plus 180 so on doing so we will get some value that is here the horizontal forces are in opposite direction because this is acting from left to right this horizontal force due to water on the upstream side while the water on the downstream side is acting from right to left so this is going to take the negative sign so 720 minus 180 and on doing so we will get 0 0.98 now there are few things which you need to understand here so in order to classify whether the dam is safe or not we have a condition that is factor of safety against sliding should be greater than or equal to 1.33 for the con for the design to be acceptable while it is safe or more desirable to have the factor of safety greater than or greater than or equal to 2 so you can see that in the given dam design of the dam or the span of the dam we have seen that factor of safety in a sliding is just 0 0.98 which is less than the desirable acceptable value which is less than or less than the acceptable value that is 1.33 so we can say that dam is not safe in the sliding condition we can write here the dam is not safe for sliding condition next we will check whether the dam is safe or not in the overturning condition so let's move to that section so now have a look here we are calculating we are checking the factor of safety against overturning so what happens here whenever the dam fails in overturning it is going to uh, turn this way like clockwise from this point from this point okay it will turn this way so what which forces are going to act downward to resist the dam we have to take it we consider that as a resisting force so for that we, uh, for that force we will calculate the moment of resistances so see here what happens this w1 will is acting downward so what will happen it will resist the overturning so we have here w1 weight is 576 and we all know that moment equals to force times perpendicular distance so this force times perpendicular distance is going to be 6 plus half of this 2 meter 6 plus half of this 2 meter because we will take the distance up to the cg of this span so we have 6 plus 1 so 7 576 times 7 plus w2 is again 576 so 576 times half of this span is 12 divided by 2 is 6 meter which is acting downward F again force v1 v1 is also acting downward so we have calculated the value of v1 that is 400 kilo newton you can see here you can see here for v1 is 400 so 400 times 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10 meter which is acting downward plus this second is fb2 is 240 kilo newton which is also acting downward so 240 times b2 is will be half of this 6 meter at the cg of the 6 meter so 3 divided by now overturning forces overturning forces so this uplift for uplift pressure are also going to overturn the dam secondly this horizontal force is going to overturn the dam but this horizontal force fh2 which is acting on the downstream si side is going to resist the overturning so that will get subtracted from the overturning forces and this fh2 is resisting so fh2 is plus 180 times half of the span again 
half of the span sorry half of the span not fh2 will be fh2 is 180 which will be at some distance from the base and this is thinner portion so we will take uh, l by 3 only so this is 6 meter by 3 so times 6 by 3 now for overturning forces overturning forces are uplift forces so uplift force is uh, 720 720 is u1 and u1 is rectangular in shape so it will be at half of 12 meter so 720 so it will be uh, half of 12 meters so 6 meter similarly f u2 f u2 is 360 meters so 360 times multiply by now it is going to overturn from here and this is acting upward so its cz will be at two third of the distance so two third of 12 meter and another overturning forces and another overturning is fh1 so fh1 is 720 times uh, l means 12 upon 3 so we will get the answer from here force of overturning so on solving this we will get 1.24 now again we have the condition for the factor of safety against overturning that is factor of safety against overturning must be greater than or equal to 1.25 to be acceptable and should be greater than or equal to 1.5 which is desirable so here you can see factor of safety is 1.24 which is less than the this acceptable value it means our dam is going to fail in overturning condition also so this was about the analysis to check whether the dam given design of dam is safe or not in context of overturning and sliding condition and this is how we are going to do and the condition is also if, uh, the same so if the value were more than 1.25 then it would have been acceptable and we can could have said that dam is safe similarly if uh, in context of sliding condition if this value were more than 1.33 then we could have said that it is safe like in the previous numerical i have shown which was safe but here this dam is not safe so this is how what we are supposed to do in this numerical see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself